The first product on our list is Store Your Board High Port 2. You can get your gear completely out of the way when it's not in season, thanks to the Store Your Board High Port 2. It attaches to the ceiling and holds everything above your head, so you won't trip over it because it's hard to explain a skiing injury in the middle of July. This product is available on Amazon for $70. This product has average 4.6 stars from more than 32 customer reviews, a customer said. If you are looking for ample, overhead ski, snowboard, wakeboard, maybe even stand-up paddleboard, storage, this is the product you should get. Don't waste your money on cheap plastic options. This is built like a tank and holds many pairs of skis. Another happy customer said. Mounted this on my garage ceiling to store two snowboards, five pairs of skis, including two pairs of fat skis, and three pairs of poles. I put one snowboard on top of the other in order to make everything fit. I positioned the brackets 36 inches apart, which accommodated everything perfectly. Because I wanted these mounted perpendicular to the floor joists, I mounted them on 1x6 lumber that I cut long enough to span two joists. I used one quarter lag bolts to install the brackets to the lumber 1 inch and the lumber to the ceiling joists 2 and a half. This hardware was not included. I couldn't use the screws included in the box because they're designed to attach the brackets directly to the floor joist, which would make them parallel instead of perpendicular. They're made of a thick, solid feeling material with a high quality coating. The arms are covered with a dense foam that I suspect will hold up well over time. We'll see. The brackets are adjustable vertically and could not have been easier to adjust. An unhappy customer said. Both ceiling brackets went up quickly, as did the first adjustable center tube with gated pin. The problem was inserting the cotter pin on the second adjustable center tube. After fussing with it for a minute, I realized the through holes on the ceiling bracket were not directly across from one another. My tools are stored in the garage, so for me, it didn't take long to drill out an offset hole to accommodate the pin. I'm still at a loss as to how the holes could have, one, been manufactured incorrectly, and two, passed inspection. You make a jig, plunge to the arbor, and you're done. As a mechanical engineer, I really liked the simple design but was frustrated by the failure to carry it out. Either qualify the machining process or do lot inspections, visual or go, no go gauge, to ensure you're shipping a quality product that conforms to the drawings. I'll say that overall I'm very happy with the finished product. Everything went great after drilling the offset. I used 36 inches as the distance between brackets and that was ideal for both dad and the kids downhill skis and poles. The second product in our list is Monkey Bar Storage. This option from Monkey Bar Storage is made of powder-coated steel, so if you break it, you might have to admit you suffer from an equipment hoarding problem. The hooks slide onto the bar, making it a breeze to customize to your particular needs. This product is available on Amazon for $80, check out the link in the YouTube description below. This product is rated with 4.1 stars from 16 customer reviews, a customer said. I was expecting a high quality rack due to paying more than just a few bucks and I am very happy with what we got. The unit feels strong and looks great. I have three skis and two snowboards hanging on it and they all fit together just fine. The only thing I would like to see as an added feature would be if there could be hooks next to each slot to hang our poles and helmets. It isn't that big of a deal however since we can hang them on the tips of the skis. Yes I would purchase this again. It really cleans up and organizes what could be a mess of snow equipment leaning on the side of the garage. Another happy customer said. Easy to install, extremely practical and out of the way. I have two sets of downhill, two sets cross-county, poles plus gear and still have room to add more. 
Great design for sure. Very happy with purchase. An unhappy customer said. Because the clamps that hold your skis will fall off the rack every time you take your skis off the rack. Make sure that you hang the bars low enough that you can reach the clamps without having to drag out a ladder. The next product is Fall Line Parabolic XL. The Falline Parabolic XL is a freestanding model made of rugged polyurethane, making it more than capable of holding up to substantial abuse. You can use it on its own or you can buy several and interlock them, if you're being overrun by apparel. The price is around $95, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. There are 11 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 3.9 stars, a customer said. Wasn't quite sure what to expect because reviews are hard to find for this product. I was a bit hesitant to purchase due to the price and not having seen the product or even sufficient reviews. This product is fantastic. Super easy to set up. Very very strong. Would purchase again in a second. Another happy customer said. I bought the fall line ski rack to organize the area in our garage where we store our skis. After the box was delivered to my house, I was very happy when I lifted the rack out of the box because it was made of very thick, heavy plastic. I think it will last for many years. The tail of my skis on the left is 4.5 inches, 114 mm wide and fits easily. I think 125 mm wide at the tail skis are the widest ones you will fit in this rack. An unhappy customer said. These racks and the snowboard racks are poorly designed. No instructions are included on how to assemble or how to separate the legs as they come locked together, they slide to separate. Each leg is poorly V-slotted and will not slide up on either side. The plastic slots vary in thickness so plan on spending a minimum half hour with each leg and a Dremel sanding disc to attain the proper gauge to get them to slide on. Very poor quality control. I would look elsewhere for this product. The number 4. Wheeler's Heavy Duty Unless you're trying to outfit the entire Olympic team, the Wheeler's Heavy Duty should offer plenty of room for your stuff, as it can hold as many as three pairs of skis. Granted, that won't suit an extended family, but it's likely enough for most users. This product is available on Amazon for $19, check out the link in the YouTube description below. The average rating of this product is 3.7 stars with more than 98 customer reviews, a customer said. Great product for its price. Another happy customer said. Worked well, looks just like pick and add. And much better than having skis tucked in a corner that the dog kept running into and knocking down. The next product is. Store your board Omni. You can have the store your board Omni up and hanging on the wall in your garage in a matter of minutes. Even though it's a cinch to install, it still provides a remarkably sturdy place to hold equipment, so don't worry about coming home to find everything on the floor. The price is around $75, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. There are 117 reviews which average rating is 3.5 stars for this product, a customer said. Sturdy, smart and easy to install. ID buy again and recommend to friends. Skis up and out of the way for summer. Ski you in November. Another happy customer said. Although there were no instructions, it was very easy to mount on the wall in my basement. It's difficult to make any real comments because the ski rack was perfect. It is very sturdy and holds two pairs of skis in each hanger, ten pairs altogether. 
My only issue is that I could actually fit more than five hangers on the rack so I'd be interested in buying another one or two hangers, if they were sold separately. An unhappy customer said. Got the product timely. Should be a pretty simple installation. Instructions say to mount with arrows up so I follow them to AT. Mount first one arrow up to a stud. Install rod, level and go to mount second one arrow up. Uh oh. The mounts are cut at an angle so that they have to be mounted in one direction. The second mount could not be mounted arrow up as shown in the pictures due to the angle cut in it so I had to install arrow down. Not sure if I got two lefts or two rights but it doesn't look like the picture or instructions. Not a huge deal but the result is that the rack slants downward. Based on where it's installed I can't reverse the mount so it is what it is. I installed the hangers upside down to minimize the angle. Finally one of the hangers was bent slightly so I had to coerce it to fit with a vise and hammer. Again not a huge deal but the second alteration to what should have taken a couple of minutes. Not a bad product just some errors in the manufacturing or packaging made me. The next one is. Rough Rack. If you tend to make snow-capped mountains your second home, the rough rack provides a handy place to shrug off all the related trappings you've acquired over the years. It can support six pairs of skis or six boards, so you don't have to limit yourself to just one sport. The price approximately $60. There are 15 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.5 stars, a customer said. The rack fit right between a wall cabinet and storage rack so the size 24 inches was perfect. The mounting holes were 16 inches on center so they lined up perfectly with the wall studs. Each set of rods easily holds two sets of skis and the rack is well constructed. Another happy customer said. It can hold all kind of stuff not just skis. I have my snowshoes, crampons, three sets of hiking poles, two sets of ski poles, one set of skis and still have room for more. An unhappy customer said. The construction of this ski rack is very solid, it is heavy and clearly designed to hold the weight of up to six skis. My husband and I were pleased with the ability to hold two pairs of modern style skis in each set of tines. However, the tines are a bit too far apart for today's rocker skis. When we placed the skis in the rack with the tines well below the rocker point, the skis slid down to rest at a point well above the rocker point. This didn't seem like it would be good for the skis, especially in summer storage. We added pipe insulation to the tines to help resolve this and also used some pieces of cardboard to help keep the skis in place. I would recommend going this route or placing the tines between the binding parts to prevent this issue if you have rockered skis. The number 7. Pro Board Racks. Built using handcrafted redwood, this offering from Pro Board Racks will dress up any wall you attach it to. It's as functional as it is attractive, as it keeps all your paraphernalia well separated, making it easy to find what you need in a hurry. This product is available on Amazon for $65, check out the link in the YouTube description below. There are five customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is five stars, a customer said. Really nice unit. Sturdy and holds our four sets of skis and poles just fine. Another happy customer said. Great ski rack. No complaints does its job well made out of quality wood. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.